What's up everyone, it's Justin with Jade Gobble here and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak any iOS device running 6.0 or 6.1 untethered, whether it's an iPhone 5, an iPad mini, iPad 4, or an iPod Touch 5th generation, any device that is running 6.0 through 6.1 will work under the jailbreak. So some of the things you want to look out for, you do want to always back up your device completely to your computer in case anything does go wrong. And it also asks that you turn off your passcode lock in order to um, avoid any issues that may happen in the installation. So it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I've got a Mac, so just download whichever one. The overall download is very, very easy. And if the following link doesn't work, the magnet links should work as well. So now let's just go to my downloads pane there and access the file that we just downloaded. Just click on that, it's just a DMG. It's very, very simple and it should just verify it and open up right away and you're good to go. So it has three files, it has the readme, just some information as well as the actual jailbreak itself. The readme is pretty much just some precautionary things, some system requirements and stuff that you probably don't really need. What's important is the evaders file itself. So let's just go ahead and open that up there. And it's very, very simple. It claims that it takes just about five minutes. I actually sped up the process for your viewing sake, but in total, in real time, it only took me about six minutes to do this jailbreak. So you just need to hit the jailbreak button, make sure your device is plugged in. And the first phase can take quite a few minutes just verifying the jailbreak and just figuring out what needs to be done to your device. And now it's just gonna, it, it will reboot quite a few times through the process, but don't worry, it's part of the process. And at this point, you just need to slide to unlock. It tells you to slide to unlock and go to your latest page and tap the jailbreak button once. And it pretty much just continues on with this process. And now it is all done. So overall, like I said, it took me just about six minutes. You just need to follow the on-screen instructions and you should be good to go. This is pretty much a one-step process kind of thing. And I have to say they have done a very, very good job in this jailbreak. If you guys didn't know, the first jailbreak took over 74 steps. That was about five years ago. So we've definitely come a very long way. As you can see, we've got Cydia running and it's all good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button below if you'd like to see some more videos from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.